Bioidentical hormones are hormones that are molecularly the same identical structure as the hormones that are made in the human body. It's really redundant because if it's not bioidentical, it's not a hormone. The bioidentical hormones have the same structure as what we've always had in our body, and it doesn't really matter where it comes from, it's just simply that the structure is the same as what God put there in the first place. I believe anyone who's deficient can benefit from bioidentical hormones. And that would apply to virtually every man, woman, and child at some point in their life. As men and women age, inevitably their hormone levels decline. That leads to poor health and a host of health problems leading to the chronic degenerative diseases, the heart disease, high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, arthritis. Often when we're 20 years old, we feel great. We don't have any needs for any supplements. We're just doing wonderful. That condition doesn't last forever. To help prevent those diseases from occurring, we want to keep our metabolism up. And the way we do that is we keep our hormone levels replenished. And we replenish our hormone levels using the same biologically identical hormones that we used to make in adequate amounts when we were younger. If I'm feeling poorly because I'm losing thyroid hormone, I should get thyroid hormone. If a woman, woman is feeling poorly because she's losing estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, I think she would benefit greatly from using proper doses to optimize her levels or his levels, um, helping them feel better and decreasing the risk of degenerative diseases like heart attack, stroke, and cancer. The dose is going to vary based upon a man's age or a woman's age, uh, their size, their symptoms. Generally, we're going to start at the lower dose and we're going to adjust until the symptoms are relieved. And based on age, we will typically start at higher doses if it's very likely that person will need more. And of course, a real smaller person, we're going to use lower doses. We would assess how do they feel, what the level is, understanding that these um, lab ranges are really reference ranges, they're not perfect. They are population ranges, meaning they describe the population, not the individual. So we need to find where in that range does that individual feel up. Each person is individual, and we titrate according to what the person needs, not according to any set formula. It's very flexible. I believe one should be on bioidentical hormones as long as they want to feel optimally, as long as they want to feel well. Um, in balance, I believe hormones are health promoting. I believe that cancer and other degenerative diseases come from hormone imbalance, hormonal loss in uh, women, particularly low progesterone, estrogen dominance, but even low thyroid, hypothyroidism, increases the risk of heart attack, stroke, and cancer. Hormones that aren't molecularly the same as the hormones made by the human body are really not hormones at all. They're drugs that mimic hormone structure and have similar effects as the hormones, but they also have some serious and deleterious adverse effects. So we're really talking about different terms that describe drug or hormone. So that's why I like to call them, instead of uh, synthetic, I like to call them counterfeit hormones. The term counterfeit hormone refers to a compound that is not identical to a compound we make. Because they counterfeit the hormones that the body makes, but they are not uh, biologically identical and they're dangerous. If you're dealing with something that isn't identical to what your body normally has, you're going to have a different biologic effect. And one analogy would be the difference between a key that fits the lock and one that was made improperly. You know, you've all, we've all had a key made. We get home, we put it in, but it doesn't turn. And similarly, a synthetic product may interact with the system to some degree, but because it's not the identical same compound as what your body makes, you'll see a different result. And you'll frequently block a natural process, and you'll get side effects that are not present with the original hormone. So when you ever you change something from the original design, you really don't know what the results are going to be, but they're not going to be the natural health benefits of the real hormone.
common counterfeit hormones would be birth control pills and uh, the hormones used for, for hormone replacement therapy conventionally, and that would be like Primarin and Primarin, Provera combination called Primpro and Provera, among numerous others. These are hormones that are molecularly different than the hormones made in the human body, but they have similar structure. They're counterfeit. They have similar structure, so they have some of the benefits, but they have a host of side effects accompanying them. My philosophy is if you're going to replenish hormones in the body, put the same identical hormones back in the body that the body made in adequate amounts when a person was younger and healthier. Well, Premarin is derived from pregnant mare urine. Premarin, pregnant mare urine. Premarin is a counterfeit hormone manufactured by a drug company called Wyeth. It is derived from pregnant mare urine. That's how we get the name, pre-marin, pregnant mare urine. It turns out that pregnant mares secrete a lot of things in the urine, one of which is estrone, which is a hormone that women make, but also contains hundreds of compounds that humans do not make. And these hormones are not biologically the same. Part of the hormones are the same as human hormones, estrone, but the other hormones are horse estrogens, which are not identical to human estrogens. There's no reason in the world we should give a human horse estrogens. Horse estrogens should be for mares in midlife, not for humans. Prempro is a combination using Premarin plus Provera. Provera is a drug. Provera is a counterfeit hormone. Medroxyprogesterone. So it contains uh, Premarin containing perhaps hundreds of compounds that our bodies don't make. And it also contains Provera, otherwise known as medroxyprogesterone, a drug, a counterfeit hormone, trying to mimic progesterone's effects. Well, there have been numerous studies over the last decade that had talked about the adverse effects of these counterfeit hormones, Primarin and Primpro, which is a combination of Primarin horse estrogen and Provera, a counterfeit progesterone. And the Provera or medroxyprogesterone is a compound that was created by the same company, Wyeth, to balance Primarin. But unfortunately, it has a lot of side effects which cause the health problems to far exceed any benefit. Many birth control pills are counterfeit hormones with respect to estrogen. Some contain estradiol, which is a human estrogen. Others contain ethanyl estradiol, which would be a counterfeit hormone or a drug. However, all birth control pills contain a progestin. None contain progesterone. I think uh, birth control pills are just a hormone disaster because they prevent a woman from ovulating. Therefore, she doesn't make progesterone. Birth control pills provide a strong estrogenic surge, if you will, to suppress ovarian function so she doesn't ovulate, but they don't contain any progesterone. And it's the progesterone deficiency that seems to be related to so much breast cancer.